All right, got that tweeted out. Sorry, I don't have like a intro thing. Just got to deal with uh deal with silence. Now I have to turn off this other feed. <laughs> All right. Um. So stakes race Saturday. We'll start with the ninth race, which is coming up at Aqueduct. Um. I pull that up right away. And we can see we got a heavy favorite um here which looks pretty solid in terms of the optics plot um tough to knock on that uh right off the bat looks like it's in a major pace advantage class advantage speed advantage um what is not to like about this horse that we can try to beat her um Let's see, debut, broke slow, room closed, B effort first out, like that, much much the best over this group, um, too much, okay, uh, maybe that should have been even a B plus, really nice filly, uh, gallop out, will be better two turns, uh, maybe not classic distance type, ooh, well, we're gonna go nine here today, so maybe that's just something to watch going forward, but, uh, looks solid, um, Always late. Um, it's going to run first time on the gra uh, main track, coming off the grass. Improving um, this season for sure, so that's a positive. Um, also a positive was kind of closing into some slower paces. Um, so that's that's pretty promising. I guess if we're looking for an alternative, um, we can kind of go with the six. I mean, keep in mind that surface change and whatnot. Um Five looks a little bit slow. Um, was in against uh, the the eight last time out, so kind of hard to see a reverse on that. The number four, um, you know, she's fine. Um, I don't know. It could be a little bit soft. I mean, allowance coming into a graded stake race, we'd want to see probably something a little bit more than a B um, optics grade as far as you know she's concerned on that front. Um, number three, kind of the same thing. I mean, improving, um, a little bit on the slower side, C plus last time out in graded stakes. Um, so class wise is a little bit soft. Number two, um, obviously the added ground looks like it's going to help her. This is our first start around two, you know, the route of ground, um, which is tough because that's going to come first against winners. So, um, probably some ability there, but this could be a tough, this could be a tough spot. Um, again, not a spot. I mean, I'm not betting horses at one to five, but I'm, you know, not trying to take her on in this spot. And it just kind of seems like, you know, public has it, um, right. To some extent here with, uh, the six as the, the second choice. I can't really, I can't really find any, any faults as far as what's going on there. So, Kind of a, a watch and wait, and hopefully that's not the case with with all of these um, graded stakes races, which you know can can often be the case. Just some of this stuff. I haven't streamed in a while, so I'm trying to get I'm trying to get organized here <laughs> as far as what's going on. Um, yeah, I haven't streamed the last two Saturdays. It's been tough. I mean, uh, just with like. Oakland and fairgrounds are running Santa Anita at the same time. There's just, there's a lot going on and there's some things that like, you know, you don't know, you don't know until you try till you like get in there and you start doing it. And like streaming is a full-time job and I already have a full-time job. In fact, I have two full-time jobs. I have three full-time jobs, full-time at optics, full-time at Brisnet, full-time dog mom, three gigs. So full-time streamer, uh, I'm going to do my best, um, but it's, it's a lot harder than, um, than one anticipated. That's for sure. But we shall see. We'll see how it goes. Um, all right. So yeah, it's basically, there's a lot of, a lot of work to do. Um, so Aqueduct, we'll kind of check back in there. We got five minutes, but, um, watch, make notes, um, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, Keeneland's heading to the, or Keeneland just crossed the wire, sorry. Um, 
pretty chalky there. We're going to catch back up with Keeneland on the ninth race, which um, a race I'm, I'm pretty excited about, the Ashland. Um, uh, it's a good, you know, good Oaks prep. I like the way the Oaks is kind of shaping up this year. So I think this race is going to be, the Ashland will be really important, um, just a race overall. Um, there's three horses in there that, you know, are, are seemingly solid, uh, simply ravishing, Malahat and uh, Will Secret. So um, I think it's a good matchup for those three um, that haven't really like run against each other and kind of a, a neutral battle battleground today. So uh, yeah, Keeneland Nine, your horse is racing. Let's go, Will Secret. Yeah, I well, we'll pull it up. We'll look at it on the plot. I mean, I I do like her quite a bit. Um, I, she's not without a chance for sure. Uh, let me get that pulled up again. Let me get organized here. Flip back. Uh, we can see the plot here. So, I mean, it, it could definitely set up for Will Secret. Will Secret's the number six. Um, number three, Simply Ravishing, and number five, Malahat. I mean, they're they're right on top of each other. They're overlapped in quadrant one. I mean, just from a betting standpoint, you know, you can make the case that, you know, the five maybe just has more upside, has more ability. Um, but she's going to be favored. You know, um, and like in a big way. And I mean, you know, she's she's solid. Like, you know, there's tough to knock any of her races um, so far. So, you know, that's that. Uh, and the pace doesn't look extremely hot. I know it's a fire contention because it's a compact field. You kind of have three, maybe four. You know, we saw last time out with Will Secret that she's able to change up her run style, come from off the pace or race on the lead. Um, you know, so we'll see kind of what they decide to do with her. Um the two and the four, um, two is kind of first time surface distance. The four, um, mm -hmm. a little bit outclassed. I mean, you can kind of see mm -hmm. sort of a closer, closer type there. Um, what is going on? All right, Put this out. Um, but yeah, Will Secret. Um, you know, she. This is like I said. It's a it's a good spot for her to just you know get this race under her belt. Um, just kind of you know. Prove, prove where where she's at. Um, so I'm going to try to like keep with the order of these uh, races. So um, Aqueduct, um, this Gazelle here. Um, then is it Keeneland next? Or are we going to flip in a Santa Anita race? Let me see. Keeneland will be 24 out. Um, Santa is 8. Oakland 11. What's up with this fifth? Um, fifth race at Santa Anita. We've got another big favorite. Um, going going global. Easy for me to say. Um, and then in terms of Oakland, which will be like right right on the heels. Um. We'll look at the Oakland race for sure. Okay, so um, we'll do that. Let me pull up that Oakland race. I don't even think I have it pulled up on the uh, screen yet, which is fine. Give us a little bit of time for that Aqueduct race. And again, um, reminder if you guys missed it because I had the plot up um, a second ago for Aqueduct um, with search results. It just looks pretty solid. All right. There's some scratches in here, so, um, in this Oak One race, so I just wanted to make sure I have this plot up because the big scratch, which was kind of making this race playable, was playing. It was going against the seven, um, but she's going to go against herself. She's not running today, or he, she, she. Okay. So makes it a little little less exciting in terms of uh, playable race. Um, the number eight, I wrote up this race on circles and squares. Um, 
So I thought the eight was fine. I thought the four was fine, just kind of based on the plot. Um, the, yeah. Some of these horses just going to kind of changes the, the race shape so much as soon as you get like a scratch. Um, Wonder Victory. Um, Yeah, the nine was kind of the key, but she's out. The three might have too much to do. You got to look at the legs of the six. If the front wraps are off the six, that could be a positive angle. And she's currently six to one. You need like one more six in there. If you know what I mean, and I think you do. Man, it, when in terms of scratches too, um, for the fantasy, I mean, the six coming out changes things up quite a bit. Cause she could have had a pace advantage today. Um, but as far as a uh, chat, how are you guys doing today? Um, any winners? How you've been keeping yourself busy on Saturday when I'm not live streaming. <laughs> All that good stuff. Is it getting warm where you live? I think last time we were we were on stream, uh, it was snowing. It's no longer no longer snowing. Just got home, need to catch up. Alright, so got we still got time. We got a lot of racing in Santa Anita. Um and the back half to a lot of these uh cards on the West Coast. West Coast, East Coast. Six, the front wraps are on at Oakland, so that race just became maybe a pass. All right, we'll stick with the stakes, I guess. Search, Search party was looking strong, but she's idling on that left lead. The two six is no bueno. Back to the turf for her. Um, two trying, but no. Um, no lead is, is kind of a, you don't want to see that going forward, but she won that race just about as, as, as it was drawn up. Keeneland, nine, is 19 out. Good effort from the two. Yeah, I bet so, too. Um, was it two's four? Yeah, the six, you can just even see on the far turn. She's, like, on, on the wrong lead or on the turn. Um, the two, yeah, that was that stretch horse. Who's, who's pretty good, progressive. I mean, that's a that's a big step up in class to go from maiden, you know, here and behind a horse that was essentially, you know, had the race to herself the whole way. So, indeed, I think uh, one to follow for sure. Nice here in Largo, Florida. Yeah, what are you guys at? 80s, 90s? It feels like that here. It's like 60, 65, 67, but... Compared to what it's been, it's like feels like the middle of summer. Alright, so that's Aqueduct. Aqueduct 9, just want to get some timing on this. Um, Oakland will be 5, Sanity to 2. Both those races are pretty much pass. Um, and then the Keeneland race is in 18 minutes. Um, Look at Santa Anita. This is a stakes race coming up here. Um, Providencia. Let me pull this plot. So number four, 
going global um is a favorite i you know i mean she just she looks solid in this race um the price is terrible but i don't know if it's even terrible i don't know not not a playable not a playable number um in this race but i mean just looks just shouldn't have any excuse just looks like she's going to be the class let me get this pulled up this grid pulled up I mean, you know, both of her races are 90s uh, optics figures. And nobody else is, you know, close. I mean, closing remarks somewhat. But 7 to 2. Slow. This horse has upside. This is a tough spot, though. First time two turns and first time two turns going 9 for furlongs. But um, the 5 is one to watch. But we shall see. I'd say if anything on the four, I mean, for a lot of these, it's just, um, like, distance. We don't really know. Keeneland 10. Let's check it out. Let's, um, I'll pull it up. Let's, I'm going to watch the Santa Anita race, um, the notes on it, if I can. Um, it's already a lot of shit going on at the break. I don't know if any of it mattered, but Let's see, the favorite was kind of one of those. Took a little bit of contact at the break. The way this course has been playing, I would say the main track I think is speed favoring, and even to the inside, both the horses today have been inside, forwardly placed, um, main track. Uh, the turf sprint, um, it wasn't the second race, but the second turf, um, the turf sprint race allowance, um, was pretty fair. I mean, it was a fast pace. The speed was slowing. Um, eh, I played, it played fair. And then the first race on the turf, they just, you know, they gave the horse the lead. I mean, there's seven horses, seven horses in the race, six of the riders right out of the gate are like this. Can't try. Must hold my horse. I don't understand. So we have this like a similar scenario here. Gets out in front, the one. I missed, I forgot, it was like 24 and something, the opening quarter, but 49 for the half. This is California turf course. This turf is like hard as a rock. Like, it's inexcusable, these fractions. Um, four made that the right move. Was going to get first run. Six, been able to save ground. Four, just ooh, a little bit on a different level, but had to work for it. I think that's the nine furlongs. I think probably ideally nine furlongs isn't quite where she wants to be, but um, class, class on the turf. It's just something. All right. It's Oaklawn. Oops. I mean, if you're looking at Keeneland 10, you have to consider the three is going gate to wire. There's not much speed. I know it's a contention of a sun. You have the one in there, but on surface and distance, the one is nowhere to be found. Um, the one's got some quality to her, though. Um, we'll talk about her in a second. But the three, I mean, maybe she just gets clear. I think almost your conversation has to start there. Who's the favorite in this? 
the four and the five, the four, the five, and the six. I mean, they're pretty much, the five is the least. Maybe can get first run, but no, no difference to the four and the six. And, you know, being closers with this scenario, it's not the best, not the best price on any of those horses. Um, if you're playing from that perspective. Um, Cineas, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit slow, the number one. Going back to seven furlongs, yeah, I mean, she's not a, she's not a front-running, she's not a front-running type. Oakland result, three, the three did end up winning after all, all right. Um, Malibu Marley, um, anyways, let's, let's stay focused on this. Um, yeah, I mean, just, you know, she's not, she's not really a front runner. Um, so I can't really see, like, tactically, um, you know, them trying to, like, run with the three. And then just kind of overall, just had to make sure I had the sound off real quick. And then just overall, I mean, speed figures is just a little bit light. You know? 95 to 103, just compared to the others. Um, it's a story on the... Where's the two on here? The two could be chasing, but again, I don't know if she's, she's quick enough. Pressed, what was this race? Yeah, I mean, this is a fast race, but a much, much lower level. Third off, she's kind of improving. There's some upside there, but it's kind of a kind of a test for her. As far as the three, I mean, she just looks like she's going to have a pace advantage. You have this one race, the Miss Preakness, right? Maybe these two races. Where'd she start? Oh, she just got over the top. Okay. So it's Keeneland race. She's been able to win off a layoff. That's good. Um tracking then one on the lead here eight bells did have an easy pace but might get that today um and then i think maybe just timing right but still ran a 97 so that's still a pretty good race how fast was that pace had to work hard to get the lead and then took pressure yeah that was it that was against the flow so she's she's coming she's kind of coming off um you know was kind of over the top a little bit here um and this was just not the right day, and then obviously the layoff that followed. Um, uh, you know. And then we talked about the four, you know, the four, the four, the five, and the six, right? Are pretty much all the same horse. Maybe the five can have a little bit more tactical speed. She's got to, right, at the seven furlongs. But that might be the knock. That Maybe that's the knock on the five here. Because the five, I mean, they've been keeping her shorter pretty much for a reason. Typically, you know, does better with more time between starts. I'm not, I'm not feeling five at a short price. And then the problem with the, the problem with the four and the six is just, is just trip. They're both capable, but getting the trip. And then the seven kind of has the same, Seven's like the same as the one, but doesn't have as much speed. <laughs> Maybe she does because she's kind of better at sprinting. Um, well, she's a grade one winner. I don't know. You can make a case. You can make a case for the seven, at least at a price. Where is she? You no, know, she's in that mix. Yeah, she doesn't quite have the speed figures, but this is good right here. She had trouble when she raced at Canland. Won this grade one, you know, backed up a little bit. But that wasn't that wasn't the right trip for her that day. Um, so she has to move forward. She could have some tactical speed. I don't know. I'd 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 kind of stick with some prices here, three seven. Because you know, to your to your point, like that the race ten seems very wide open. Um, I don't think any of those horses would be a surprise. So you've got to kind of make an opinion, and I think, you know, 
mathematics um, taking the those two horses at a price that you know could be a little bit dirty have a little bit of upside um, would be interesting the five uh, would stay close enough which uh, sweet burgundy which five what track what race was it one of the Santa Anita or Oakland races we just watched or one of this one coming up Oh, Keeneland, uh, Keeneland, Keeneland 10. Yeah, I mean, she could. Again, you know, I think, I think that's what bothers me a little bit more about the five. The five, the five could get a trip, right? Let's go back to the plot here. Just kind of where she's at, right? If, if these two horses like falter, you know, for whatever reason, fives could probably get first run. Um, you know, if somebody, somebody else goes, but the distance thing, the timing and the distance thing bothers me on the five. I don't like either of those things, right? But this race being seven furlongs, um, I don't know. And see, you can see like she's been kept shorter. Yeah. She ran a six and a half year. It was, you know, she ran fine. Not going to knock that. It's a weird course. Um, but again, the timing too, right? Double layoff lines, um, running running on 35 days. If you look at the rest of her races, that one race was still okay. Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint finished fourth, was against the bias. It's not a bad effort, but that's the only time she's run on less than 30 days. 35 here. Less than 45 days. Less than 53 days <laughs> is like the second the second longest layout. So I think just those those factors there being at a short price um, could get her beat, you know, for like picking holes in horses. All right, race race nine. Let's bring this up. The all important race. Um, so as expected, the five um, is still holding favoritism here um six to five you know off that record i can pull up the grid i don't know if we did that before but i can do it now um six to five right now the three um simply ravishing who we're kind of expecting to kind of push the pace with her um second choice at five to two the number two past the champagne um, and Will Secret, just no respect, both seven and two. No respect. I think because people like to bet trainers and not horses. And that's usually where we find value too, because people are betting trainers and not horses. And, and we're horse players. We're betting horses. Trainer's important, but... If you don't have a horse, if your horse isn't fast enough, your horse isn't classy enough, your horse isn't getting at the right trip, um, horse isn't at the right part of the form cycle, doesn't matter how good of a trainer you are. you got to have those factors. That has to come first. And then when you have a good trainer, then it just upgrades all that shit. Um, all right, so the five, talked about her. Um, you know, improving with each start, has already gone this route of ground. It's kind of a weird trip, though. I don't know if you guys have like seen this, but she kind of dropped back inside, almost looked like she was going to finish off the board, kind of angled out, ran on late, um, and has been off since then. So obviously, you know, they're kind of pointing, pointing towards the spot, coming back, um, simply ravishing, kind of the same thing. Um, she's going to make her seasonal debut here. That could often be a sign. Um, that could often be a sign that you know she uh, maybe needs one. Um, the six went off at four to one at Aqueduct and had never raced on the dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Aaron, I talked about that. I was like, she's like the second, like the second most logical, but had that, had that going. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, there was just, it was just wasn't a playable race, like in general. I think, you know, I think logically her being, the six being second choice, just because it was like, what else do you do um, in that spot, you know, but the eight looked just, you know, it was her race. Um, where are we at here? I'm not getting distracted. Um, the number two passed champagne. I mean, she's, she's slow. Um, so, you know, 
kind of what, what Aaron was saying here. I mean, you've got a first time, a first time something in this case. First time two turns. Uh, better than look race on debut, kickback, had trouble, you know, validated herself, but didn't really, you know, speed figure wise, 89. It's fine. Not going to win this race. So she's going to have to move forward, you know. See if we can see how this uh, race stacks up. And Will's secret. You guys all know. Will's secret is no secret at this point, as we've established. This form back here was so good. It was so sneaky. Um, finishing behind Clarier. Um, and then just has turned it on this season. So this is, uh, you know, a good spot. New track. Kind of see where she is progressing progression wise um i want to look at this golf stream race uh that was the february 27th race horses out of this race hell yeah all right horses out of this race um not really doing much another woman came back and won um me at midnight one, but that was a maiden 50. i mean just optics figures wise the horse is coming out of that race Talking about the number two right now. Looking at that maiden win that she came out of. Hi, Frosty. Frost wants to let you guys know he had a birthday yesterday. He's five years old. Happy birthday, Frosty. All right, they're going in the gate. Close this up. We don't need this. I'll keep the the plot up for this race to kind of follow to kind of follow along with um, while the race is going. Will secret four to one. What? One is acting up in the gate. All right, so the three, the three gets out in front. Um, the five is not pushing her. Um, the four is currently pushing her, so that's interesting. Um, that quadrant, quadrant four horse, um, which I think when you're a long shot, might as well go for it. Um, the two is sitting in the pocket. Will Secret's going to come from off the pace today, um, which. A big change from last time out. I don't know. I think they're they're you know it could be one of these where they're they're trying to just figure out what's her best. Um, so we're gonna have to see if her best is from off the pace today. This is gonna be a tough trip. Um, again, three's getting pressed by the four. Two sitting in the pocket. One is saving ground. Um, the five is currently stalking kind of that first flight. It's pretty average pace. 24, 48 and change um, there. Kind of heading into the far turn. Uh, John Court's starting to go a little bit on Will's secret. Five starting to go. The one's losing ground. I don't think this is a case where those horses are passing her as much as she's losing ground. Now they're going to sprint. Uh, they're going to sprint this quarter. So the three is done. Um, that was one that you know kind of talked about maybe coming off the layoff. She might need a race, but um, you know that's not really the most encouraging. Five is going to get first run. Um, Will Secret, not not a great trip for her, tactically. Um, the five should take over this two. Five, two, six. Um, I think given that the way the race kind of um, played out, those were the right results. I mean, we're, we're talking the Oaks. Um, uh, Again, I don't think, you know, that wasn't a bad effort from Will's Secret. Um, that's going to help the price, if anything. Um, and it's a good race, you know, I think a good race for her. I don't, I don't think she wants to come from that far out of it, especially at this type of distance. That was another question, another question here. So she's got to stay closer to the pace um, next month, for sure. Good effort from the five. Um, I, I think that this was a good race for her coming back. She could have a move forward. I don't think this is a taxing effort. Um, the two, I mean, solid effort for her, but kind of had everything perfect. 
sat right in that pocket, you know, was able to save ground, have first run. If she was good enough to win, she should she could have won today. Um, you know, not quite on the class level. So, um, that's that. That is that from that. Uh, what is next? Santa Anita is coming up with a stakes race. They're 15 minutes out. They're 18 minutes out. And it's a four horse field. So. And the favorite who's legit four to five right now. So there's that. Um, the wood is coming up. Um, we're 23 minutes out, but let's look at that. Cause we got nine, uh, nine horses in there. We'll look on the board as well. Um, I mean, the eight already looks like value. Seven to one. Should be able to sit right off the nine. You know, imagine the nine has to go from the outside. Same with the eight, just follows her over. Um, the six right now, five to two. Um, he's talented. Mm, let's see. Let's pull up the grid. There's a lot going on here. Um, wow, we get an A minus. Ooh, don't see many of those. Um, an improving type. A minus strong in the Remsen. Ran down low enough for a good stretch battle. Um, so probably a taxing effort. That's a clear, clear top. Um, in the slop as well. Oh, you know what else I want to do? Let's do this. Have you guys seen... Have you been following the Road to the Derby? We have the new Optics Focus. This is going to be our, like, uh, our new tool. It's not, not yet released. Well, not fully released yet. But I can actually kind of talk through it. You guys can see that up there. I guess I could blow it up bigger. But um, what it does is basically everything that I'm like saying as I'm going through these horses, we have it. We have it kind of keyworded, like the description out there. So um, the morning line, um, six to one on Brooklyn Strong. The, um, this is like the optics focus line. So pretty much like a value line. You can think about it that way, or fair odds line. Um, is four to one. So currently sitting at five to one um, is a horse that has to be considered, you know, um, considered in terms of play. One might get a good trip, eight bad posts, probably lose ground. But but Aaron, maybe, but maybe not in terms of ground loss because who does this horse have to clear? Right, the way that it's looking on the plot, faster than everybody but the nine. So just follows, you know, follows the nine and could sit right behind. So I don't know if it's necessarily necessarily ground loss. You know, nine and six are out in front and the eight could track right behind. Um, if there was other speed on the inside, then yeah, I could see it. Um, the two, where's the two on the plot? Yeah, the one and the two are in kind of, uh, kind of stalking trips there. Um... Slog close doesn't get out of the gate all that well. Got out of the gate a little bit better. Does not seem like a classic horse. Let me get back to this. Um, crowded trade, uh, four to one, seven to two is fair value. So currently six to one. I, you know, that's almost like negative in some ways, right? Chad Brown horse. It really doesn't have many knocks being six to one. I don't know. That's. It's getting into like, you know, there's a difference between where it's like, oh, that's value. You can kind of see why. But like a horse like this should be under, not over. And when they're over, it's a little concerning. 
Um, the three is a toss. Uh, fair value would be 99, currently 56. Just nowhere, not, shouldn't impact the race one bit. Um, the four risk taking is currently 5 to 2. Uh, fair value would be 5 to 1. So no value right now, 5 to 2. Class below average, proven at today's surface and distance, but peaked in current form cycle. So just, you know, at, at a short price, we just have to look elsewhere. Um, the six, uh, 10 to 1 would be fair value. And they're currently the six just ticked to the favorite, 2 to 1. B plus in first two starts, facing comfort, tougher company after winning a perfect trip. First winners, class below average, first time two turns. Beneficiary of good trips, track bias. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't argue with any of that. I think the line is maybe a little bit higher than, like, I would have made it, but two will probably go. Is two fast enough to go? I don't know if the two is fast enough. Definitely not if they break slow. But this was a slow half mile last time out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Candyman Rocket. Uh, maybe didn't take the Tampa. Did no running. Um, I thought he just got like such a perfect trip in the Davis. Um... And that was the time. That was when he was taking all that money. Aaron, I know you remember that. You're like, I remember we were on the stream and you're like, they, you know, Mott must like this horse. You said something like that when Candyman Rocket won the Davis. And then, yeah, he was a total no-show um, in that race. Where's he at? Let me make sure I'm not missing the Santa Anita race, too. Santa Anita is 11 out. It's going to be, it'll be pretty tight. But I think we can do it. Um, okay. Let's stay, stay on course here. Um, so the 7, let's look at the, the line there. Uh, 15 to 1, currently 12. Um, so right at the morning line. Just a little bit soft, I agree. Um, plot bad versus track profile. But again, that last race is kind of impacting. Um, the eight, um, you know, the eight, again, looks like the value right now. Seven to one, uh, fair odds would be five, stepped up the game in Gotham. Gotham you know, obviously not going to get 46 to one, but seven is still, um, you know, pretty fair. A little concerned about the lack of lead change in last two starts. Um, he actually did change leads late, but it's really late. So it is something to be concerned about. Plot is good versus track profile. First time two turns. He looks like a horse that should handle it, though, honestly. Uh, works trending positively. Um, so to me, it's like one and eight are pretty much the horses to play right now. Um, and the number nine, uh, well below average on class, 31, currently 42. Um, you know, I think just the fact that, you know, the pace advantage kind of left the horse in the mix, but um, it's definitely definitely well below on class so that is that we'll click we'll click back we got 15 minutes there um again the santa Anita race should not take long to handicap am i missing any other stakes races i don't think so i think we're just sticking sticking with these um up through Bluegrass and Santa Anita Derby. So we'll do that. Uh, Brown will probably tell him to send, set up run for the four, same stable. Right. Um, I mean, yeah, you can, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. All right. I'm with you. I think that that's probably even, I guess my, my problem is even if that's the intention is to send, if you don't have a horse that's fast enough to go, it doesn't matter how, how much you want to do it, right? If I want to go out and run a seven minute mile right now, 
And I like really want it like so bad. Like if you get to do it, you can have ice cream for dinner for like a week. I would be like, oh my God, I want to run this seven minute mile like, so bad. Right. But basically it's not going to happen. <laughs> like there's, you know, so you just, you know, sometimes you just have to think about that of like what, you know, they can try, but if they can do it, it's a, it's a different story. All right, let's, let's get to the sanity race. Race six, four horse field. Um, beautiful gift right now. The favorite, I think that she is legitimate. Um, I thought last time out she made sense. Are you laughing? Because I want to have ice cream for dinner for a week. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, last time out. I just thought, you know, beautiful gift. We'll just go back from, like, the beginning, you know, her races here. Um, she had traffic first time out at Del Mar and then just was able to improve. She looked like a router, wide trip, you know, won, won her second start. So there was just some class there um, to her. Uh, B plus, um, coming back off the layoff, may come back here. Uh, I'm still closing ground. It was just a, it was a classy, it was a classy effort. Who's warming up right now? The one. Um, and Moraz didn't run, didn't run bad. Um, she got a B, um, finished second, nasal strip other. Um, I think she wants to be outside horses, so them warming up right now, I think they're going to send. Tracked pace setter, you know, maybe the same thing, like we're saying here, you know. Maybe they want to send. They could. That's going to be their best shot. They're going to have to send from the inside. And with that track profile today, maybe that's enough, honestly, on the one. Um, agree with you, but young horses stretching out, the, the pace may be fast. Yeah, it's, it's muddy, right? Red. So I agree. I mean, anything could happen. Anything could happen. Um, so yeah, maybe that upgrades the, the one at Santa Anita, actually. You know, the five is going to have to kind of keep pace with her. Um, the four, I think we have the same scenario where we've got a first time surface switch, first time on the dirt. Um, but I mean, outside of that, you know, she's a little bit on the slower side, um, you know, compared to those 90s. But um, it's just so honest, right? There's no red. She's been like B's all the way through, um, B grades all the way. So, um, you know, obviously she's the quote unquote longest shot on the board right now at nine to two um, for legitimate reasons, but she's not a bad horse. Um, the three getting wagering support three to one. Um, her debut was really impressive. I know it didn't come back strong in terms of a speed figure, but you just consider um, that race shape where she had to close against the flow, and I think that played that played a role in that in that optics figure in that speed figure in general. So um, there's there's upside with her. I mean. I, th I think she should be a bigger price than the one. The fact that they're both the same price pushes me to the one um, over the three, but I, I, I like both. I think this is a good quality. There's four horses in here. It's a good quality field. Um, if you have to do a four horse field, um, might as well be a competitive one. But that said, I think the five is still is still the horse to beat in here. All right. Let's, let's see where we're at on timing with this. Um, four minutes. All right, that's coming up next. So we got 10 at Aqueduct, 4 at Santa Anita, um, 15 to Keeneland 10. So we got it. Oh, we, we've talked about that. We talked about that race. But let's go over that while we're waiting on, um, while we're waiting on Santa Anita. I need it. I need to do something here. Hold on. Grade one Madison. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, I just I wanted to. I just need to pull up another another screen because um, I'm using I'm using a screen for Twitch, so I have to like do do something else. All right, Keeneland ten. Um, the three is getting bet down, which the morning line was crazy. But again, I just think she's got she's not the favorite. 
Um, just could have that pace advantage in here. Uh, three to one right now. The five is favored. We talked about the five. Uh, certainly capable in this race. I am worried. I'm worried about the timing. I'm worried about the distance. Um, you know, never gone this far and really no intention to go this far. And then coming back quick, which is kind of something I've never really done with her. She's been running off layoffs. Um, and typically that's for a reason. So, you know, that's that. Um, the four is seven to two. The six is value right now at nine to one, because I mean, just look at them. The four and the six are essentially the same, more or less, you know. Um, so seven to two on one and nine to one on another. Um, that's that. Uh, the one is currently eight to one. Um, again, it was a little bit slow. Not sure in terms of trip because she's not really a front runner. Um, and at this distance, it just could be it could be tough tough for her from the rail. The seven I thought was interesting. Seven is the one that I just think has some upside. She has that sneaky race over this track. Uh, 16 to 1. I mean, she would be a use just from that perspective alone. Um, has that sneaky race over this track. Had a, a near excuse last time out um, at Santa Anita. Just didn't really have a chance to run. Um, has the grade 1 win from the start four, coming off that troubled trip at Keeneland. So there's just, you know, there's there's some upside um, some upside with her that's, that's a little bit more hidden to the public. Now, she's not the most likely winner. She's not the fastest horse in the race. So, you know, that comes into play, but you're getting compensated at 16 to 1. All right. Uh, we're one minute, one minute out of Santa Anita. Uh, Aqueduct 246 favorite. Horses are approaching the gate oh, for the no. same. <laughs> Forgot, I have to do that every time I use this program. Um, the two, okay, the Chad Brown horses, um, and then prevalence. So I think that makes that makes sense. I think that was that's pretty much in line with the morning line. Um, I do believe. They're off at Santa Anita. They are pushing kind of with the one to get the lead. So the one did get the lead from the inside. Um, it was getting pushed by the five. That was absolutely the best thing to do right there. Um, the three sitting in the pocket, four tracking outside those horses, which is another good thing to do with the four, you know, keeping her in the clear, avoiding kickback. Um, we'll see. Pace doesn't look that crazy. 24, yeah. Um, the first dirt race today, so which was the second race on the card, they went 23 the first quarter and went 46 for the second quarter, and then went 110, 123, and the horses stayed on. So 24, 24, 49, they're going so slow for this course today. Three starting to move on the inside. Another gosh, such good rides, except for the one. I think the one just sucked because the one needed to needed to commit. It was a way too passive. Uh, three started to move, made that move a little bit early, got out in front, and again they're gonna sprint home. The four's been tracking. She just might not be fast enough. Um, the three's getting a little bit green around the turn, just kind of leading out, switched leads a little bit early. Um. 
But we'll see. It looks like it's going to be between the three and the five right now. Five stocking on the outside, three on the inside. We'll see. Is it going to be the bias? Is it going to be the class? Looks like the track profile, three, five, holds strong. Yeah, the one, um, the rider did did good out in front, got out in front, but got to commit, got to go quick. Good ride by the three. 100%. Um, safe ground was on the good part of the track. Moved inside. Got that first run. Got the win. It's a good horse. All right, three minutes at Aqueduct. The four favored. Let me pull that up again. Do we need uh Let's do the plot. Four, not a horse I'd be looking at as far as the favorite. Um, and that was one we had as the... As, three minutes to post, three minutes. Uh, as five to one on, um, on the value. Right? Five to one. Val value class below average could have peaked in the form cycle. So not excited about as the favorite. Um, the six also a little bit, a little bit sus right now. Five to two, just a little bit short. Super good horse, but short price. Um, and then the one, the one and the eight are are staying right, kind of right there. Five to one on the one, uh, seven to one on the eight. Um, as far as the two, um, money's coming in a little bit, but still, I think just not not taking money in general, like, was kind of a was kind of a negative. axes are nice for the one on top. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I mean, just playable aspect. The one, the eight, um, Chad Brown learners are fine. The six is talented, but, but just no value. Don't think the one or eight will get that late. Um, No, because look at your probables again. You have the two, four, and six. So I think they'll stay right around those numbers. I think it might come in on anybody, the two. Um, but like the four and the six have been like steady, steady action. The two has a mouthful of blood. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. They can win like that, but it's not good. Agree, but it's just that one race. I've got the one. All right, we got a lot of root. We got we got a lot of action right here on the one. Eight's kind of being a brat going in the gate.
All right. Um, yeah, kind of as, oh, let me get the plot up. Kind of as expected on the plot, the nine cleared, uh, the eight went wide, didn't have to, but kind of <laughs> ended up getting a little bit wide, but is now into that position, sort of uh, tracking right off the nine. Um, some mild ground loss there. Um, the six sitting a pocket trip right now, the seven outside of the eight. Um, the four is on a big hold um, behind and between horses. You can see, same thing with the one, um, the rider's got like his feet, like, you know, water ski mode, like on that dashboard there. Good, they got a little bit of space on the one. Um, that's good, the rider is able to kind of let out a notch. Five is wide, um, the two uh, not boredly placed. I kind of missed what happened at the break if that horse broke slow or whatnot. Um, and the three, who was that, you know, just kind of hopeless closers is well off the pace. So um, I would say that's probably an average pace for, for Aqueduct here. Um, half mile. Let's see. Five starting to move on the outside. It's been kind of wide throughout. Um, the six is under a drive, uh, not really keeping up. That horse was sitting in the pocket. The one is still inside, hasn't really had racing room. Um, seems to have run, but he's going to have to find room there. Got a little opening at the rail, but it's kind of been tight. Um, the eight had first run. Here comes the two kind of over the top. Um, the five made that outside move. Uh, that first move should have this race. Holy shit, here comes this three. Fucking hell, this three's got this race. Holy shit. Uh, bombs away. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. Isn't that like the second time that's been like the longest shot? The other, and everyone will be like, oh, Twitter's gonna blow up. The other Todd Pletcher. The other Todd Pletcher beat the Todd Pletcher. Fireworks. All right, where did that horse come from? Um, came from the clouds is where that horse came from. Um... Yeah, I'd never won a race that was, like, fast. It was kind of a weird, weirdly run, sort of. I mean, a lot of things that were kind of predictable, but not really. Todd Pletcher, dude, that's crazy. Todd Pletcher just runs 1-2 with 72-1 to 1 over 15-1. to 1. That's wild. $906 exacta seems light, in my opinion. The odds came down on... Uh, did you guys see what the final odds were? Did they come down? Looks like it came down on the... Yeah, the two broke slow. Um, the eight ended up going off at six. Uh, I don't know what the one, what the final odds were on the one. But that's that's horse seven to two, so it did come in. Oh shit, Keelan. Just in time. Alright, they're going to the gate at Keeneland. Um the five is currently what's happening? <sighs> Get everything back to normal. Okay, the five is four to five uh, right now. Seven to two on the three, potential loan speed. Five is going to sit off the three. Yeah, the one wasn't quite quick enough. Um, it's going to chase inside second flight. This is another time where it's like three, just go for it. Um, two is in tight behind and between horses. That kind of makes sense. She's in the quadrant three. Um, might not be able to keep pace. Still pretty slow up front. This is where, like, if you're on that, don't hold the three. Just let her, let her rip. Um, six is off the pace. Four is inside. Two is going to start to lose ground. 
Um, Seven is stalking outside. Doesn't seem that she's going to be doing much. They're still kind of on hold. My dog is, Frost is playing with the toy in the background, just so you guys know. Things get silly. Um, all right, three still going up front. Fives had dead aim on her. Um, just might just be too much class with the five. Four starting to come on late. Two is no lead. Three is no finish. Should be the five or the four. All right, five, four, two, three, and one. All right, my handicapping is pretty shit in that race, that's for sure. All right, moving right along. All right, so we did Aqueduct, Keeneland, what else? Santa Anita, oh my god, all these races are like forever away. Oakland 10 it is. No, 7 to 1. Not 7 to 2, 7 to 1. Alright, that's a big difference. All right, sorry. I like messed with uh, messed with something on the screen. I was trying to get it back. Um, the tenth race at Oakland Park. We'll we'll take a look. Two hundred at being five to two. Yeah, yeah. I had a feeling, right? Because you, especially when you had those probable or those will play, pays um, with the two, four, and six, that those would be the ones that continued to kind of take money, um, kind of in and out. Um, all right. As far as the Tenth race here um, at Oakland Park. Um, the number two is currently favored right now, and um, a, kind of a vulnerable favorite. The way just first glance, right? Um, speed rate is low. The two is in quadrant four. Um, it's even a circle on quadrant on surface and distance. Um, so some kind of. red flag type stuff right off the bat. Maybe condense this down a little bit. Um, I mean, trips wise, there's upside on the two for sure. Um, this tactic last time out and wide, uh, then behind it, best of the speed winner. Just worried about trip, worried about trip at the price is pretty much it. Um, the one is currently a second choice, a bit of a negative. Um, well, ugh, reclaimed. I don't know. It's kind of a lateral class move. Looks fine on the plot. I don't know. This race, this race just might be a pass. Um, three. Kind of hard to make a case for that one. The four comes out of that same race. Second off. This is an Indiana bred, so he might be prepping for Indiana. I might be writing about him in a few weeks. Um, impressed. Um, somewhat improvement pattern. 
Hmm, looks pretty good on the plot. 11 to 1? All right. All right, a contender has entered the arena. Um, the 6. Pace setter. Front wraps last time out. Gallop minus. All right, this horse could be going the wrong way. Could be going the wrong way. The 6. 12 to 1. Yeah, they're not touching that horse. 4 to 1 morning line. If I boxed my three throwouts at Aqueduct, I would have hit the exact. I think you and everybody. Um, <laughs> I mean, that was the like toss can confidently be eliminated. Oh my god, I know John's sick right now. I should probably not even bring that up. Let's pretend. Let's pretend that didn't happen. All right, let's go back to Oak One. Um, so six. Uh, yeah, just not taking any money and could be going the wrong way on the form cycle. Um, the seven, uh, you know, might try to be best of the speed, but should have the four and the one, uh, pressing. But not impossible. Six to one. It's okay. Um, the one, la I mean, the eight last time was the time, um, moving up in class. I don't know. This was the right, this was the right time, um, on that pattern. What's going on here? Minimal change in running order with best of the speed winner. Moving up in class. So a little bit of a, little bit of a, what's the word? Bias. And a little bit of a bias last time out the nine. Yeah, I mean, if if you're taking on taking on the one and the the one and the two, the five is the horse, at least the value, right? If you're maybe exact as and whatnot, just getting that five in there, that first or second spot. And that is that. All right, what else do we have going on here? Is Aqueduct done? Aqueduct is done. Aqueduct is very, very done. Um, Keeneland, are they still not official? We'll do Keeneland 11. What's going on at Santa Anita? Twenty six minutes to this allowance race.
Sorry, guys. I'm multitasking here. Grabbing uh, grabbing notes as we go. All right. Uh, should be close. No, not aqueduct. Oklahoma. This is what notes looks like. Um, doing notes while <laughs> walking every track. So pretty much when I'm not live streaming, this is what I'm doing, just for hours and hours. Ten, ten to seven, seven ish. Essential quality wins today. What price do you think he'll go off at for the Derby? I that's a good question. Um, I don't know the number. Um, it because it's it's a Derby. It's so hard to tell. But what I would think is this: is even if he wins today, something Baffert will probably still be favored. That's my guess. Concert tour. Um, Medina Spirit win, wins today. You know, I think both those horses are fine. Actually, Medina Spirit I don't like, um, to be honest. I mean, he could win today, but he has to show up as, like, almost a completely different horse. So I think from that perspective, uh, I don't think he would be favored. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, there doesn't seem like... Like, I think he's probably, like, he, I mean, he's been, he's been solid. I just, you know, I don't know. I just think people like Baffert. Do you agree, disagree? That what, what do you mean by the, oh, well. Medina Spirit is trash. You, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> He's good for a third. <laughs> when there's four horses in the race. I mean, that's pretty much it. He just hasn't run, like, he hasn't progressed. And he's been fine just kind of based on, you know, the horses that he's been running, that he's been running against. Alright. So cool. 
one race is going in the gate. I'm going to try to do. Thought a central call would be. Yeah, he could, you know, he could be. He should be. I, I don't disagree with you. I think that, like, logically, especially, you know, if he wins today, like, his resume should make him be favored. But, like I was saying earlier, people play trainers. And they're going to be like, but Bob Baffert wins all, wins the Kentucky Derby. So, I have to pick his horse because of that. And I just think that will be, you know, enough people having that same, um, where he was 4-1 to last week. Yeah, I mean... Maybe. Maybe there's the East Coast, West Coast thing. I could be wrong. I think, you know, that's tough. Damn, that five had a crazy trip. I thought that horse was like... That five should have won at Oakland. Holy shit. That was like not even fair. First I was like, oh, he's gonna lose ground. That's pretty... Plot nailed that right there. Four twenty two to one. Four four one five. Look at the plot. Four one five right now. Sorry, I one one four five. But still. Right there. Yeah, the two was two was bummy. Five had so much trouble. I'm gonna have to do that race later. We have an inquiry. They just can't, there will be no change to the running order. Because it's, I mean, the five had trouble, but it's from, like, the seven backing up, I think. More than the four coming over. At least that's how I'm seeing it. Yeah, the two kind of starts to, but the five finished in front of the two, so I can't, I don't know, I don't think there'll be a change.
No change is my opinion. Um, all right, Keeneland, we're 10 minutes out to the bluegrass. Let's start talking about that race. Um, Santa Anita's 14 out. It's an allowance race. So. Let's talk Keeneland. Well, are you, um, is essential quality your like derby horse right now? And if so, what do you want him to do here? Do you want him to win? For Keeneland 11, looks like three is the value. Can't argue. Yeah, I mean, not even just from like a. Oh, you, you gotta throw the six in there too, right? Maybe a little six. Just because there's no pace? I mean, it's 73. So rooting for essential quality can't hate the price on the three. It's okay. Yeah. Let's go back. Let's see what we got for the, for the bluegrass. So you want so you want essential quality here and then and then the derby. Uh wow. Uh the line on the one would be thirty, the two, the eight, the three, definitely the value. Legit. Um essential quality, no value. I mean obvious, but just I mean one to two is hella short. Um, the five should be 25 is kind of right where it needs to be. The six is an overlay. <laughs> 25 class is below average, but you know, could get a, could get a share. Uh, maybe I would have labeled exotic. Um, the seven is a toss, um, 38 to one currently. Um, the eight is another toss, uh, just optics figs don't rate well. Both those horses. Uh, negative service distance switch, optics, you know, doesn't fit the plot. Um, the nine uh, has run well over today's track, declining optics figures, um, and deep closers are generally, generally vulnerable. Um, Impervious blood today in the Shaker Town. Oof. Yeah. That's tough. Um... Yeah, the nine, the nine, the nine has to like put up right here in order to get into the field. This is his his one chance. There's a lot of horses in here. This is kind of their one chance. Essential quality is clear, regardless. Look at the five, all prancy. Um, six looks good. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get another another bomb. Seventy to one. Let's make today real crazy. Um. I, I think more for underneath. Um, seven also looks okay. That's the horse I was going to run at um, Turfway last week. Stakes, stakes.
three is warming up right now. Not a crazy aggressive warm up, but um, just for what it's worth. Oh, maybe it's a little bit more. It's on the track right now, or on the on the video feed. A little bit of a runoff. Um, but that's probably going back to what we were saying earlier. That's probably like a sign of some intention with this race being like paceless that they're going to go forward, go forward, like to the lead, right? Like, like that on the plot. Four? Is he coming off the layoff? I oh, know second off. Looks a little, it's a little chunky. <laughs> a little bit more of a jog, jogging warm up compared to the three that kind of got into, into running a little bit. I wanted to pull up uh, Santa Anita Derby. So we're kind of talking about that. Um, the one scratching, I, I thought that horse was in with a chance, but apparently he wasn't training to their liking, and, you know, that's that. Uh, Callahan scratched a few horses on the card today, so I don't know what that's about. Um, the great one, you can see right here, um, in his last race, tactics minus wide. They did not use his speed. He was wide, kind of rating off loan. And I think also he's kind of a, you can see the optics figures. He kind of paired up these 97s, which were tops. So two tops. So a regression kind of seemed natural. And that was the day. So I think today they're going to send, um, go to the front and give this horse his best chance. Um, Cedillo aboard. Um, Medina Spirit, I mean, what you see is what you get, what I was saying with him. I mean, he looks fine in the plot. That's why, I mean, he can win. Um, but just, I mean, look at his speed figure. He's just, he hasn't progressed. Like, this 93 right here in the sham, that was his top. And he's been 90s. And it's just, you know, there's just not much upside, not much upside for him. Um, five is probably going to, you know, send just kind of based on the plot. Um, three, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, another one's a surface switch, um, running on the main track. It's a good horse. Not one I'd get excited about at four to one on the morning line. Um, if he wins, am I going to be surprised? I mean, not really, but like what Aaron was saying earlier about Aqueduct, it's like, you got to consider value. Um, Law Professor to me is kind of a horse that, um, maybe he's just on the upswing. Um, Wanted more ground, you know, in his first start. Looked like a prep. Ran like a prep. Came back. Second start. Got the added ground. Big move forward. Ran a 90. Just kind of seems um, progressive in that sense. I know it doesn't look great on the plot, but keep in mind, you have one start that's bad that's kind of impacting the whole thing. So, you know, could be it could be a move forward there. Um, Auto the Legend, maybe more of an underneath. Parnelli, probably going to be part of the pace. I mean, what other chance does he really have? Um, but distance-wise, has struggled at the route. Speed figure-wise, he's on the slower side. Dream Shake, same thing. I don't know what about this horse would make him 7-2 in this field. He's slow. Um, not even any real progression in his first to second start, right? Unlike Law Professor, who came out of the same debut race, he improved in his second start. Dream Shake... You know, I don't know. Nothing about him gets me excited. Everybody but the 10, the other Baffert. Um, this horse is pretty good. And they've been working, um, you know, working on some stamina with him. It's just, again, you know, first start, two turns. Um, you know, he's got to run faster, all that stuff. So, 
you know, from one perspective, it's a little bit wide open of a race. Um, you know, especially if you're like me and you're just not crazy about Medina spirit. All right, they're off in this race here. Uh, highly motivated goes to the front, same thing. Uh, central quality, they're kind of one too early. Um, looks like the eight and nine are wide, kind of tracking that second flight. What was that in there? Five. Ooh. Put up the right plot. Yeah, it makes sense. Five, eight, nine, kind of tracking. It's about right. One is inside. Six is covered up. Two is kind of off the pace there. Uh, no real change in that half. So nothing, nobody's really moving, no one's really moving forward, no one's really moving backwards. Um, three and four are just kind of starting to separate a little bit. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much kind of running on behind this pair. So we got a match race um, to the wire. Highly motivated, just game, game on the inside, central quality, no. Quite doing enough, just in a drive, man. I think he's gonna get up though. Number three just switched leads. Essential quality got him. I have no idea who finished third. It's a horse you would think by the saddle towel is the two, but it's not. Or is it? I don't know. The nine? The six? The five? I have no idea who finished third. <laughs> Four? Four, three. I have no idea. You know, I... Th <laughs> I think a good race from him. I agree. I mean, let's go back to where we were saying earlier. Like, technically, I think he makes sense as the favorite. And now he's done nothing wrong. He's, you know, won great stakes races. Um, he's been... Let me just double check the notes. Um, he's raced at Churchill. He's been a. I don't know if today is going to be a B plus, but maybe they'll give it a B plus. It's more of a B in my opinion. But um, yeah, I mean, just done. He's done nothing wrong. Um, well, it'd be interesting to see where this. Uh, what happens with that speed figure though? I think that'll be interesting. By the six, so yeah, there we go. You got it. You got it. Good call. Ron Bauer. All right. Um, a fine race. I don't know. I I think the speed figure coming back is gonna be is gonna be important. He's move this over. I still. I still think, okay, the Raiders Cup Juvenile, I still think this number is, like, it's not wrong. I just think it's high. Because this is the uh, Hot Rod Charlie ran in this race, and he has another, like, triple-digit optics figure like this. And I know it's it's high on, on Briz and probably DRF, too. Um, but, like, outside of, if you just, like, remove that one race, you know? That's what I'm saying, like, today's speed figure is going to be important. He's got to be back up, like, somewhere close to 100 off that effort today.
So race seven in Santa Anita is going to the gate right now. What do you mean, what's going on? She was. Or, uh, oh, like, to pull it up? Uh, 13 minutes there. Sorry, let me do. Let me pull it up. Let me pull up the San Anita and this one at the same time. Rip City. Yeah, that scratch was the scratch was major. Um, the six who was in this race was like a big square, like right here, right here in quadrant one. So I mean, so when the six was in the race, it looked like the six and seven had this race like locked up. And I think the seven is probably the the quote unquote best horse in the race, but the three might three might be loaned. Could be. That scratch like helps her out big time. And then it's gonna force the two and the four to uh kind of push the pace a little bit. So then maybe the seven does get a trip. I still think the seven's the horse. I think the seven is just talented enough. She's not necessarily like a closer type. Um man, I tried to get creative here, but those fucking four at Santa Anita, it's not gonna happen. Um, did not, I tried to beat the seven. I do have the five, but I think that's a hope and a prayer at this point. <sighs> Lame. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Not the best, not the best day. All right, Oakland Park. Um, yeah, the seven is still favored, and then the three is a second choice. It's just not, it's just not really playable. Not playable. But it wasn't really playable before, because it was like six, seven, and now it's three, seven. I don't know. I can't get to any horse outside of that. Um, you know, I mean, the one was running in maiden claiming races. She is slow. Um, the two, I mean, stretching out in distance, maybe she presses, she's got to press the three. Um, you know, live barn, I don't know. Again, just kind of has to move forward. Um, you know, potential. The three, we talked about the four, is just, she's just, you know, she's just too common. She just hasn't run a fast race, um, you know. She's fine for underneath, but she's hard to make a contender. Um, the seven also is a little bit below, just speed figure-wise. Um, anyways. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take down the stream um, so that I can take my dog out with the quickness and get back by um, the Santa Anita Derby. So I think that's plenty. Came back, I streamed for almost two hours, first off the layoff, so not bad. Um, basically got some recaps in as we were going, um, you know, and obviously Santa Anita Derby will, um, you know, play a role, whatever, um, all that stuff. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do my best. Like I said, it's just, so it's a lot to do. So anyways, it's a lot to do. Um, and then I have to do more stuff on the tech side, which is totally different. Another story, like, altogether. 
Um, but whatever. All right. Um, thank you guys for joining. Um, again, I appreciate it. I'm going to go get ice cream for dinner. <laughs> I'm such an adult. Um, thanks for streaming. Thanks for having you back off the layup. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are, are pushing me. Pushing me to do it. Um, I need it. Um, have a happy holiday, all the horses. Same. Sam right back at you. Um, yeah, tomorrow's kind of a, a quiet day. That's right. So, um, yeah, all that good stuff. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Um, we'll talk soon.